Hey guys, this is Dapson HTML. In our previous tutorial, we looked at using the curve tool, that is the open curve, which is here, as well as the close curve or curve close tool in Wizard Web Builder. You notice that these tools allows us to be able to easily draw diagrams that would be difficult to have them especially done in this application. Now in today's tutorial, we are looking at the curve text two. So just like these two tools over here, the curve and then the curve close, the curve text also does something similar. So you click on it, you draw on your canvas by using points and you direct it the way you want it to go. Now this two behaves just like the first um, curve two we saw in a previous tutorial. It gives you an open you know, curve where you're able to draw a line whichever way you want it. Now, if you want to end here, you simply hit on the escape tool and this is going to end. However, after doing so, you notice that there's a text that is placed on the path or on the line the way you drew it. So that is what this tool does. That is the difference between this two and the other tools. This two adds text on the line you draw, whereas the other two don't. So if you want to be able to change these text over here, all you simply have to do is to double click on this two over here and you enter the text that you want to have. Now, this text is limited or it's ending here because the characters are not too many. If I wanted to continue across the line, means I can just copy and paste this let me just paste this and paste this and you notice that this goes on across the line on and on to where the line ends if I want to change the colors of the text I can come here and then um, change the color property so I have my color over here I can change this that changes I can change the font type let me just say Montserrat, uh, Montserrat, if that is going to even show up here. Well, let me just use Lato. So I click on it, it changes the font type to Lato. And if I come back here, I can change the other properties, that is the size, the style. Um, I can also come to the stroke. Now the stroke has to do with the line. So if I change the width of this to about four, this is going to you know, change that here. And when I come back here, I can also include a hoover. Now the hoover is going to be for the text. By default, if I preview, let me just go ahead to preview this. So you notice that as I hoover, it even shows me this case. So let me just go back and, and change the colors for this. So it becomes a little bit obvious. Now what is happening is that the stroke we see over here isn't affecting the line. However, it is rather affecting the text because we chose kev text. Whatever we are doing is affecting the text. Let me just click on OK. Uh, let me not save this yet. Let me preview this so you can see that as I move over it, I get the colors that I change the text to. So if I come back here and change the width of the line to or the structure to it is going to change that of the text here and I can go ahead to change the background color um, of the text that is what is here or the color of the text as well as the stroke color as well by changing or tweaking these two um, options to get exactly what I want so if I go ahead to preview this you notice that I have two different colors with the text and if I go ahead to go by it I also have two different colors yeah, I saw. So basically, that is how to go about using the curve text to in Visible Web Builder. There's also polygon, the scribble, and the shape and morphing shape. So we'll take a look at them in different videos. So that will be about it for now. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it once again. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.